One of my YouTube viewers suggested in a comment that I, can, I should consider a cosia. At the time, I had never heard of a cosia, so I decided to check it out. To my surprise, I discovered that a cosia is an internet search engine with some unique features. Over the years, I have used many different search engines, including ancient ones like Webcrawler, Lycos, Ask Jeeves, AltaVista, Dogpile, and Yahoo, as well as the more modern ones, including Google, Bing, Ask.com, and DuckDuckGo. So I was surprised to learn that Ecosia currently is the eighth most popular search engine in the world, with approximately 15 million users. In this video, I discuss both what sets Ecosia apart from other search engines and how it stacks up against the others, including the 800-pound Gorilla Google in its performance. Ecosia, like most other search engines, generates its income from advertising revenue. What is different about Ecosia is that it uses approximately 80% of its net income to plant trees in about 15 countries that have suffered from deforestation. It does this by partnering with local groups in these countries to plant native species of trees in a manner that promotes ecological diversity. It can do this because its stock is held by a foundation, so it's not beholden to shareholder interests. Ecosia has partnered with Microsoft to provide search results for Microsoft's Bing search engine, but at the same time, Ecosia has invested heavily in clean energy production from solar panels, and it claims to be carbon negative, producing about twice as much clean electric energy as needed for its own operations, as well as to cover the search results that Microsoft's, Microsoft generates for it. In fact, Ecosia claims that it removes about a kilogram of CO2 from the environment for each search on its site, and that it plants approximately one tree for each 44 searches conducted on its site. Though it's not required to do so, Ecosia provides reasonably detailed financial reports on a monthly basis. In addition, it has relatively strong privacy policies. It does not sell its search data, does not permit third-party cookies on its site, and anonymizes search data within about seven days. Ecosia.com can be used as a standalone search application on just about any device that has access to the internet. And it also can be installed as the default search engine for most popular web browsers. In fact, I've added the Ecosia app to my iPad and my smartphone. And in fact, it's the uh, preferred search engine on my iPad. These features, along with its ability to provide a relatively painless way to combat climate change, all are commendable. But the most important question, of course, is how does it stack up as a search platform? To see how well Ecosia performs searches, I did a few searches on Ecosia, Bing, and Google for purposes of comparison. This one was a search for men's walking shoes done on Ecosia. The results were very similar to those on Bing for the same search, as would be expected since Ecosia gets its search results from Microsoft Bing. There were, however, two differences. There were fewer ads on Ecosia compared to Bing, and Ecosia shows an abbreviated portion of the Wikipedia article on shoes compared to the one shown on Bing. Carrying out the same search on Google, I got results that are not much different than what Ecosia and Bing produced, so I concluded that Ecosia is an effective search engine. It's unlikely to miss important search results. Since I do a lot of searching on climate-related topics, I also wanted to see how Ecosia performs relative to Google in this area. So I searched on Ecosia for the greenhouse effect. Ecosia produced results clearly re related to the atmospheric greenhouse effect, 
However, the results I got from a Google search on the same topic were a bit surprising. When I searched for greenhouse effect on Google, Google assumed that I wanted a dictionary definition of the phrase greenhouse effect. That seemed a bit strange to me at first, but then I realized that Google employs an army of programmers in their efforts to provide users with what they consider to be the best search results. So if you put a word or a short phrase into Google, what you get first is a dictionary definition, not general search results that lead to an in-depth discussion of the topic. Personally, I find this attempt to try to read my mind rather annoying. So for this type of search, I rate Ecosia and Bing superior to Google. Based on a number of searches that I made with Ecosia, I am convinced that it's a very good search engine. And I really like the fact that Ecosia is a carbon negative operation. So I've decided to use it as my primary search engine and to use Google as a backup. I should mention, though, that Google and Microsoft both are working to become carbon neutral. And Google now obtains a substantial amount of the energy to power its servers from renewable sources. That's good, but because of its unique business model, Ecosia has gone a step further. Thanks for watching. I hope you have found this video informative and that you will give the search engine Ecosia a try. And if you haven't done so already, I would appreciate it greatly if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on my picture in the circle below to do that.